being able to jump on knockout enemies is an essential part of two player 2D games, right? It's the exciting, challenging part. And right now I can't do it. Okay? And I we need this to be like Super Mario style, okay? And like so many other games. You bonk them on the head and boom, they go down. So let's do that. What I'm going to start with is I need to click on, obviously I already have my sprites and my stuff loaded in here. Keep in mind my enemy does have a rigid body component and a glider, so does my player, okay? That being said, what I need to add to this. For my enemy, I want to be able to detect if they're bonked on the head. I don't want them to die if the player hits the side of them. That's not right. So I'm going to click on an enemy and I'm right clicking create empty, okay? And I'm going to say head detect. Okay. And all we're going to put on this is a collider. 2D collider. Perfect. Let's go ahead and start moving this up to about here. Let me check on my orange enemy. Ah, perfect. So I'm going to move this down a bit. Down a bit more. That's looking good. And now I want to go ahead and spread out. Now, I'm not going to have it go all the way across because I don't want the player to be able to hit the edges of it and count as a hit. Okay, so six is good, right? For me, and again, I have this bit of a lip, and you will want that. So I'm going to go ahead now, now that I have this object, I'm going to add a script for it. So. To do that, we're going to go add component, and what am I going to call this? Shockingly, I'm creative with this too. Head detect script it is, okay? And new and create an add. So here it is, right? Let me go ahead now and drag this into script and open it up. There we are. Okay, so let's get going on this. What do we need? Well, we only need one variable. And that variable will be the game object enemy. Okay. And we can actually get that pretty easily because enemy is our parent object. Orange enemy, that's what we want. And that's the parent object of head detect. So to be able to get that, we would just do enemy is going to equal game object dot transform dot parent dot game object okay so now we have our enemy game object and now we won't let's get rid of this we need a on collision enter 2d perfect okay what we're going to be doing with this is so on the event of the collision that means our enemy was just knocked in the head if they were knocked in the head it was by our player so what should have happened well we went enemy dot get component and what component Rend sprite render I'm gonna have the enemy flip upside down okay and I don't have an extra sprite for this I'm just gonna grab I'll show you flip y is equal to true so just like Super Mario style I guess let me go over here and click on enemy so what I just did is say grab the sprite render, grab flip, and click Y on. So it just flips the guy upside down if they just got knocked out, right? So on the collision, on the event that their head is smacked into, we're going to flip them upside down. And then object. oh, I'm doing enemy, old habits die hard, enemy.getComponent.Collider. 2D, okay, Collider 2D enabled is going to be equal to false. So we're going to turn off the collider because otherwise my enemy will just float right here. The collider's on. It'll flip upside down, but he's not going to drop off the screen. So let's get that turned off. And now for the movement, vector3 will declare a vector3 named appropriately movement. New vector3. And it's going to be equal to a random dot range. I said 40 to 70. I want the enemy to jump somewhere, right? To look like they got hit like they do in Mario. At comma, random dot range. And this isn't a huge jump, but it's enough to show that something 
has occurred that you knocked that enemy on the head. Oop. Okay, random dot range, vector. Oh yeah, definitely vector three. Great. Okay. And now let's go ahead and do enemy dot transform dot position. And this is gonna be equal to uh equal to x equal to the enemy dot transform dot position and for those who are more familiar with coding i might be doing something that's going to drive you nuts you can just put enemy transform position instead of writing it twice because i'm taking what it was equal to and adding movement times time dot time dot delta time. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying, hey, grab the enemy's transform position, transform position, set it equal to the enemy's transform position. That would mean what it used to be equal to, but add our movement vector and then multiply that by time. So if four seconds have passed, we wouldn't multiply the movement times four or however long we would need. So um, instead of writing enemy dot transform dot position, a shortcut for those familiar is equal to we can just do this and it means the same thing. All right, let's save all of that. Ooh, I almost forgot. We also wanna disable the collider for the head to text script. Otherwise the enemy wouldn't be able to fall through the bottom of the screen, okay? So for that, honestly, I can do this. You don't need enemy dot, you just need get component because it's the component that this script is attached to, the head to text script, and we wanna disable that. Now, I want to make sure that my enemy dies, right, disappears, uh, and doesn't just stay in existence if they fall off of the screen. So I'm heading over to enemy, and there's a few ways I can do this. The most straightforward one, though, I'm just going to add an update. If transform.position.y is going to be less than, I don't know, negative 7. Okay. And because if it's less than negative seven, right, here's my enemy. Oh, here we go. Here's my enemy. And it's at negative 1.37. And as I go down, so if it's less than negative seven, it would be off our screen. And that's why I'm using that. So if it's less than negative seven, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna say destroy this dot game object because you don't want uh, the computer to be keeping track of a game object that's a million miles off screen. It's taxing for a computer and it can lead to big problems. So let's save all of this and then go ahead and test it out. I'm gonna hit play. Boom. Whoa. Okay, so now I'm next to my enemy and the enemy is not dying. What happens next to the enemy? If I bonk them on the head, boom. And notice they were destroyed as an object as well. Pretty cool. Let's do it on max. Boom. One more time. Rah! Nothing's happening here, but boom. Knocked him out of the park. Awesome. I hope this was helpful. I hope you make something really cool with it. Make sure to hit like. Make sure to hit subscribe. It gives me warm fuzzies and is neat. And tell me about the cool stuff you made in the comments below. Maybe I should fight other enemies. Ooh, I got another. Wow.